Hi members, it's Bryn here, back with another episode of Trackman Data Explained. This week we're going to be talking about spin axis. Now, spin axis is the tilt angle relative to the horizon of the golf ball's resulting rotational axis immediately after separation from the club face. Simple, right? Um, what the heck is that? I'm going to explain it to you. To understand spin axis, we first need to understand what spin does to the golf ball. As a golf ball is spinning, what it's doing is generating lift in the upward direction. So think of your golf ball spinning like an airplane's wings. If they're staying perfectly flat, they're generating lift, which helps the ball to stay in the air. Now, if you hit a shot with a perfectly square club face on a square path, that spin axis is going to be flat like this, meaning that lift is only going up. But what happens if we don't strike it with a perfectly square club face or on a perfectly square path? If our face to path number is anything but zero, we start to get a little bit of side spin on the golf ball. So what happens when you have some side spin imparted is that you're no longer generating lift only up, you're starting to generate lift sideways. And this is what spin axis measures. So if your face to path number is negative, then your airplane wings are starting to tilt to the left. This is gonna cause the ball to drop. Vice versa, if your face to path is positive, then this plane's wings are gonna to start to tilt to the right. Tilting your spin axis causes the ball to curve by generating lift sideways. Do you ever wonder why your wedges and short irons don't seem to curve very much, but as you get into your long irons and driver, they seem to curve a lot? That has a lot to do with spin rate and spin axis. Clubs with more loft tend to spin the ball more and spin them more in an upward direction. This creates a very stable spin axis because a lot of the spin is being forced upward by the loft. As you start to reduce the loft and get into drivers and fairway woods, there's less spin going upwards, which opens the door for a more violent tilt of the spin axis. That's why your driver, if you're hitting it bad that day, can sometimes be tilted like this, and now there's no spin going up, and it just phew, out of the air. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Join us next week for more TrackBand data explanation.